Hey y'all, we're back in the kitchen today. Today we're going to be building a New Orleans style roast beef po' boy. So simple to do. A couple of ingredients that go into it, but it just couldn't be any easier or any better. Start out with uh, a nice chuck roast. We're going to dice up an onion, throw that in to help make the gravy. Use a little bit of garlic. We're going to use some beef broth. A little bit of Creole seasoning, some black pepper, salt, a little garlic powder. Get that all in the pot. We're going to let this cook for a while. All you really need is time for this. Just let it cook and cook till that roast beef just falls apart. Then you build yourself a good old poor boy. We'll show you how we do it. Alright y'all, here we are at the pot. Like I said, this is so simple to do. Got a pot, fire on high. Got some oil in the bottom. Going in with the chuck roast. We're going to salt it. Put some black pepper. Lots, liberal amounts. There's about four pounds of roast here, so maybe a teaspoon and a half of uh, salt, half a teaspoon, a teaspoon of black pepper or so. Cajun seasoning. Garlic powder. Y'all hear that? We see her in the bottom of that thing. We're going to flip it over and keep searing until we get all sides brown and ready to go. Alright y'all, this has been uh, cooking for about two or three minutes. Flip it over. Same drill. Black pepper. Lots of it. Salt. Cajun seasoning. That stuff won't come out of there. Garlic powder. Now we're going to just keep browning this and then uh, we're going to get the onions in here, brown those off, let them cook down a bit and uh, well I don't know, I can't explain the process, I'll show you as we go. Alright y'all, probably four minutes on that side, we'll flip it again. Can y'all see all that great stuff building up in the bottom? Going with, in with our onions. We just let this cook down, let the onions break down, and we just keep flipping it, browning it as we go. And uh, like I said, you'll see how it, how it works out. Flip this thing again, get the onions on the bottom there. That's a big damn roast. That's a lot of pull boys. Alright y'all, y'all see what's going on in the bottom of the pot? That's the most important thing right there. Flip it again and just keep going. Alright y'all, this has been in the pot maybe 15 minutes. We just keep flipping it, browning it as we go. Hope y'all can see what's going on in the bottom there. All those onions are caramelizing. Uh, I mean, it almost looks burnt, but that, that's what you want. And then when you deglaze, that's the basis of your gravy. All right, y'all, we're fixing to deglaze this. At this point, I'm going to just drop that garlic right in on top there. I'm going to go ahead and flip this. I'm going to throw my water in to deglaze. Oh, hot. 
All right, y'all. That uh, that first batch of water is reduced down to about nothing. Uh, this I don't know. This yeah, this process is hard to explain. But you can see all those onions and the garlic and everything is cooked down. Uh, the roast is rendering its fat out, uh, which is all going to be part of the gravy. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're just going to add. We're actually going to add uh, 32 ounces of beef we're stock. Cover that. Now that that's in, we are going to bring this back up to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer, put a lid on it, and you won't hear from me again for quite a few hours, three or four hours. And uh, I'll be checking on it as we go, but that's just going to cook down until it falls apart. Got it back up to a rolling boil. What we're going to do is turn it down to a simmer, stick a lid on it, and then uh, you won't hear me for quite a while. All right, y'all, we're back at the pot. This thing's cooked about, I don't know, five hours now. I uh, took a nap, brought my kid to the doctor for poison ivy, where he got a shot. He didn't like that. I cleaned my guns. Now we're fixing to uh, build some po' boys. So what I do is I just kind of pull all of this out, put it in a pot here, or in a bowl, where I can just break it up a little bit. Once I get all of this out, I'm going to add uh, half a cup of water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and a tablespoon of kitchen bouquet. And I'm going to pull that stuff apart, put it back in. But once I add that, that slurry, I'm going to use an emulsion blender and blend that. Mom, you got to stop giving me whitey tighties. All right, here goes that slurry. That's it. Then we put the meat back in there. All right, y'all. We fixing to put this together. We got a. Uh, piece of toasted French bread here. We're going to put a lot of mayo on it. I would say that's a lot. And we're going to pile on the roast beef. But that's pretty right to say. A couple of tomatoes. Some lettuce. All right, we got those pickles on there. The memory was full. Then you just uh, fold this up. That's it. That's what it turns out like. Y'all try it. Let me know how it comes out.